glycerol in presence of anhydrous potassium bisulfate it is giving a and again a is reacting with the ammonium uh, ethoxides so it is giving b so what is the comp uh, product a and b so let us see this reactions so first you write the compound of glycerol so glycerol is written as the ch2oh and then this is your choh this is the trihydric alcohol ch2oh and in presence of potassium this is a, 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 a bisulfate so this anhydrous anhydrous so this will undergo dehydration reaction so potassium hydrogen bisulfate will occur dehydration reactions so in dehydration means this is the alpha carbon this is the beta carbon so, so oh from the alpha carbon and hydrogen from the beta carbon will eliminate as a water and again oh from the alpha beta carbon again again here hydrogen from this carbon will eliminate as a water so you will get here so this is your choh and this is hydrogen and this is ch oh this is your hydrogen and as again choh and this is our hydrogen so uh, this will eliminate as a water so we can write here this is o is eliminated and this hydrogen is again eliminated as a water so we write minus 2 h2o so we will get compound next compound will be your uh, now we will get here choh and uh, this will undergo this bond will shift here so it becomes your double bond and this is ch and again if you see here carefully so not ch the ch not possible because hydrogen again eliminated out so this uh, uh, is hydrogen again this bond will shift here so this become your ch2 so this is it so now if you see carefully so this will undergo this is your enol this is your enol you can see double bond e and o all so it will undergo tautomerize so after tautomerization what will happen uh, this will become your cho and next is your c this you can see ho this is becomes your hydrogen will shift here becomes CH and this becomes your CH2. So this compound is called as you know very uh, compound is called acrolein. So it comes acrolein and in this acrolein it will undergo the next product is our A product. Reverse is A product and in A product this is ammonium ethoxide. So ammonium ethoxide this is a compound called as your acrolein. It is aldehyde compound. So this any aldehyde in presence of aluminium ethoxide, so this will undergo this Chenko reaction. This Chenko is the your name reaction. So this will give you product ester. Let us see how ester is formed. So aluminium will react on this oxygen. So because it's a Lewis acid, so you will get here. Let us write CS2 double bond CH and C and this oxygen. So this is aluminium will react over this side O E T whole thrice. And this is our hydrogen. Now we have to uh, so we have to take two molecules of this one. So uh, again we have one more oxygen so here. This will again polarize. This is the carbon, and this is CH, and this is CS2. So this will again attack on this electrophilic carbon. So we'll get next compound. So this is again a CS2 uh, double bond CH, and again C oxygen is again attached with the. Uh, Al whole O C E T H whole thrice, and here is hydrogen, and we will get here oxygen, and this next compound will be your. Uh, this side is uh, hydrogen, and this is carbon, and we have C H, and this is your with double bond. This is double bond is there, so double bond is C H two. Now in this case, what happens? Uh, this hydride. So this hydride will again. So this hydride will shift towards this one. This is the again you can see double bond is there. This is double bond. This is shift toward this one. So on shifting, so what will happen? This becomes CS2. So we'll get next compound. So there is shifting of hydride. So hydride will shift over here. So hydride, you can see one three hydride is shifting. One three hydride will shift. On shifting, you will get next product CS2 double bond CH and this carbon O and O. We can see here AL whole O E T H whole thrice and on shifting this hydrogen so this becomes your plus charge we can see oxygen here and uh, uh, so we will get here this is oxygen this will be your uh, so this will give carbon and the carbon with one hydrogen is already there and one hydrogen it is shifting from this side so this will attain positive charge 
so now this will get O C H and then double bond C H two and then simultaneously this positive charge so this will be uh, removed and you will get compound CH2 double bond CH and then C with oxygen so this is again a minus AL whole ETH of aluminium thrice catalyst will be removed and next is your O and then next is CH2 and then next is CH double bond CH2 so this compound is your ester so this product uh, compound is finally product is B so we will get this products so A and B is given so uh, a we are getting so a is our uh, already a is our acrolein and b product is our here ester 